came to him, but nothing happened. Not then. I don't know which night it was, but there was a night when those 200,000 Assyrians laid, that laid around that, that was outside the walls of Jerusalem. When they laid down that night, God dispatched an angel from the Lord. And in one night's period of time, one angel from God 185,000 died. When the king of Assyria got up the next morning, he only had the tithe of his army left. Over 90% of them were already dead. I would dare say that he did not try to spend another night beside that city. I believe as fast as he got there, he packed up that day and with the tithe of his army left, he took off back to Nineveh, his capital city of Assyria. Yes. Hezekiah, Jehovah, is strength. 185,000, that's the most that's ever recorded killed at one time by one angel of the Lord. Didn't the Lord defend his city? Yeah. Yes. Didn't he heal Hezekiah? Yeah. Didn't he uphold the righteousness of God? Yeah. Doesn't God do what he says he'll do? Yeah. Isn't he faithful among all the people of the earth? Isn't he the most faithful for us? And all this was accomplished simply by prayer. Tonight, we're going to pray. It's not my preaching. It's not my teaching. I'm sure that the singers, they create an atmosphere for the presence of God to come in. But folks, it's the prayer, the words of God that go back into the ears of God to accomplish what He wants to do. Praying the Word of God is the most powerful thing an individual can do. If one man prayed one prayer and defeated 185,000 men and himself was healed, what can we do here tonight? Let's pray here tonight, okay? Before we pray, I want to see people that have come here for healing tonight. Now I want to see the hands of people that are standing in for somebody tonight. Well, let's, let's get serious with the things of God. Let's get serious with what God says in His Word. And I believe as we humble ourselves and pray and seek His face and turn from our evil ways, I believe that He will hear and answer our prayers and forgive us our sins and heal our lands. I believe what 2 Chronicles 7.14 says He will do. But we are going to pray the Word of God tonight. We're going to believe God as we pray the Word of God tonight. But we start with humbling ourselves right now. And join in with me as I pray. Lord, we have not done what is right in Your sight. We have not lived according to Your Word and according to Your ways. And Lord, we are far from perfect. And we are far from accomplishing all the things that You want to do in us. Not only personally, Lord, have we failed, but we've failed our brothers and our sisters. For we haven't stood strong against the enemy of evil that's trying to overtake our land and our region. We've watched idly by as the enemy has invaded and overtook places in our region and in our land. 
We have fallen short of your will. We have come up empty a lot of times, Lord, when it comes to you. Lord, we understand that it's grievous in your heart. But your word says, Lord, your word tells me that if we humble ourselves and pray and seek your face and turn from our ways, that I will hear from heaven and that you will forgive my sin and that you'll heal me. You'll heal this land. Lord, I want to be called by your name. And I'm ashamed, but I acknowledge my shortcomings and my sin. But tonight, Lord, I pray with all my heart. I pray, Lord. And I turn away. My heart and my intentions are to live your ways, Lord. But I need your help. Lord, would you heal us? Would you heal us, Lord? By your word and through your power, would you heal us? Lord, would you heal these people that have called that can't make it? People literally in other parts of the world have contacted, Lord, for tonight. Would you heal Bill with metastatic pancreatic cancer, Lord? Would you heal Dad in Texas with lung cancer, Lord? Would you touch my friend Don Kennedy and heal his body of that iniquity of sickness and disease? Lord, we want to seek your face tonight. For we believe, Lord, your words are true. And we believe, Psalms 23, that even though we're in the valley of the shadow of death, that we don't have to be afraid for you're with us. And we believe, Isaiah 41 and 10, that we don't have to fear, for I'm with you. I'll help you. I'll lift you up. I'll uphold you with my right hand. We believe that, God, because you're God. We believe, Lord, what you said in Isaiah in 53 and 5. We believe that, that you were wounded for our transgressions and you were bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon you and with your stripes I am healed. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. For 1 Peter 2 and 24. Because you your own self bear sins in your own body on the tree. And that we are dead unto sin and live unto righteousness. By whose stripes we were healed. I would like for all you people that have raised your hands for healing. We're going to gather around. And just like Hezekiah took his issue and he laid it on the altar, I want you to lay yourself on the altar. And I want you to lay your issue on the altar. And I want you to pray the Word of God. Come now. 